How to make money in a bear market COVID sell-off. My name is Nikki Yu. First and foremost, we want to share that we are in a severe recession, but the world will not end. A severe recession is a GDP a negative growth for the next two to three years, potentially two to four years. So it just means that we are in a tough period, not just uh, in the Philippines, but worldwide. <music> And uh, most people would likely feel sad, stressed, confused, and scared, uh, probably angry during a crisis. But what we want to share to everyone is that friends can make your life easier, the tough times bearable. If you want people to help you in your trading and investing, you can always find us online. My Twitter is at Basis Trader. I share very generously online. So first and foremost, contest is king. Uh, context. So know the volatility ranges and we cannot buy and hold in a bear market. We need to buy and sell in a bear market. There will be ranges to trade. Uh, this is now the new logo for the Tokyo Olympics, social distancing. This is the new world that we have. Empty towns, empty cities. This is New York in lockdown. This is Italy in lockdown. This is Seattle's ghost town. This is the job losses soaring last night to 3.3 million. U.S. virus cases top the world. The number of 401ks abroad are shrinking in the U.S. Wealth has diminished in the last few weeks for everyone in the world. Nevertheless, with unemployment claims hitting 3.3 million jobs, the highest ever jobless in the last um, 25 to 30 years, the market reaction was a green day. Price is king. So how come? The biggest payouts come when nobody else is betting. So everything passes through three stages. First, we get ridiculed. Second, we get violently opposed. And third, it is accepted as being self-evident. What this means is that the market has realized that first, it should be bearish. Then people are still in denial that it should be bearish. But in the end, if people already accept that we are in a bear market stage, then there are rallies to be made. So if you can remember, people have been losing their minds briefly over toilet paper. This meme should help you realize that people can lose their minds briefly. Therefore, there are insane crises during pandemics. Uh, pandemics, market crashes, or whatever you have to think about, people can lose their minds. So bad stocks can also bounce hard. This is just in a single day. We noted that the bad sectors such as oil and gas, retail, department stores, transportation, airlines, all of them in the U.S. rebounded 27 to 20% in a single day, the so-called best day in Wall Street since 1933. So what you have to realize is that these stocks have fallen 90%, 80%, and it just trimmed the losses. For instance, for oil and gas, it just trimmed the loss even after a 27% bounce. The losses are still magnanimous at 75%. Uh, when we talk about how big the ranges are, we're talking about these types of ranges. So the people who are trading U.S. can verify. Some of us traded these names. In the casino sector, scientific games went from 4, hitting 12. We think it can hit at about 16. So that's a 400% range. We're talking about just one week. Uh, when resorts, 36 to 90. Penn National Gaming from about 4 to 17. Void Gaming from 6.6 .6 or 7 to 22, that's three times the money. Las Vegas Sands, three, 33 to 52. Win Macau, 10 to 15. Less, uh, this 1928 is, um, this is Venetian, Sands, China, 25 to 32, so a smaller range, just 
Melco in uh, Macau, it's 50%, 10 to 15. Galaxy, 36 to 48. Some of you might have traded Bloomberry in the Philippines. It gave a 50% range. We think it's a 4 to 650 range. PLC, we also believe it's a 70% range, a 26 cents to 45 cent move. Now, in the restaurants, one of the carnage sector due to the stay at home dynamic, we see a 50%, 100% moves in five days or less. We're talking about high quality names like McDonald's, McDonald's 125 to 170, QSR is restaurant brands, owns Popeyes, Tim Hortons. Uh, owns, uh, what's this, Popeyes, Tim Hortons, and Burger King, 25 to 47. Chipotle, 413 to 690. Yum Brands, which owns KFC and Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, it's 55 to 76. Yum China, which is KFC in China, is 38 to 45. Shake Shack is 30 to 46. Starbucks is 50 to 72. Luckin Coffee Milk Tea, it's 22 to 31. Darden Restaurants is 26.50 to 68. Papa John's, which is pizza, 28 to 57. Domino's Pizza is 275 to 349. I can't see my table. Whoops, sorry. Uh, Domino's Pizza went from 275 to 349, one of the strongest uh, because of its delivery service. Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Brand, 39 to 56. You can see that we have also been trading the worst sectors in the world and epic bounces as well. Congratulations to the ones who've been trading with us. Delta Airlines went from 19.8 to 35.8. American Airlines, 10 to 17. United Airlines, 17.70 to 38. Boeing Airlines, Boeing is 89 to 186. Booking, which is Priceline, um, 11.08 to 14.41, doing the tourist uh, hotel bookings. Cebu Pacific, we think has bottomed. We said 38 was a buy. We think it can rebound to 45. Finally, Macro Asia has bottomed at four. We think it can rebound to six. Take note of these ranges. We also said that energy sectors are tradable. Oceaneering, which is an oil drilling company, uh, has moved from two. We think it can go to about 5.78 or a 300% or a range. Uh, so far, OII has hit five, corrected to four. Any drop between 350 to four can be traded. Chevron, we feel, is a 52 to 88 range. Those who followed us at about 65 to 69 has already made about 10% in 20% in just two days. We think it can still go higher. Exxon Mobil is a 50% range from 30 to 47.50. British Petroleum, 15.6 to 27.50. Shell Philippines, 18 to 26. Petron, 2 to 3.40. AT3, which is CNOC, 6.24 to 9. Petrobras, which is the largest in Brazil, 4.05 to 8.55. Take note of these numbers. Um, these are chart levels. I can show you the charts later, but take a shot if you want or just save the slides. We also said this. I made a mem. March 24, but actually since March 20, we have been buying the companies already. We just said that in the Philippines, you have to buy the carnage. You have to buy the names that nobody wanted to buy because the biggest payoffs comes from these names. First and foremost, we do believe that one day, you will still order Mojo's from Shakey's Pizza. You will still eat in Max's restaurants. You will miss Jollibee Chicken Joy. And the casinos are still going to be flocked by gamblers for Solaire and Melco. And, though, uh, and the risk rewards in your life today are you can lose one and you can win 17. We live in extraordinary times. Liquidation phase spells super bargains. Those who traded with us can say for themselves that these have been real. So far, Philippine Index, we also said PSEI 4000 is a good range to trade. You could make some money and day trade or swing trade. So SM has gone from 520 to 870. We think that is a good range to trade. AC 360 to a potential 600. It's a big range. JG Summit 28 to 57. GT Cap 290 to about approximately 500. Banks such as BDO have a good sizable range for people to trade. 
BDO can go from 75 to 120, BPI 48 to 72, Metro Band 32 to 42, Security Band 79 to 124. These are all very cheap, but uh, notice that in a severe recession, try to trade within this index range of 4,000 to 6,000 just as a guide. Properties can go from 19 to 37 for Ayala Land, SM Prime 20 to 36, Mega Road from about 2 to 250, could even go up to about 3, but this is just an estimate. Robinson's Land 10 to 1586 or a 60% range. Notice that the ranges are magnanimous for big trades, so take a look at them. Uh, we also said that in a bear market, utilities which gives dividends are great parking places, PLDT, good to trade, good to own, 805 to 1095. The most resilient globe, 1600 to 2000, just a 20% range. You'll see that the more stable ones just have a smaller range, 20%, 20%, Meralco 190 to 250. Perhaps MPI is quite volatile, 2 to 3. Pure gold is big, 50% ranges, 26 to 39. URC, 80 to 120. Robinson's Retail, 44 to 58. Mrs. G, uh, my, this is Gaisana Supermarkets, 1 to 150. We see carnage values for restaurants and retail. We're talking about Jollibee. That's a 50% range, 90 to 135. Pizza, Shakey's Pizza gives a 4 to 7, quite a 100% range. Maxis can give 100% range, 4 to 7. And SSI, which owns um, Rustan's Department Store, Shake Shack, uh, TWG, Salad Stop, Restaurants, 1 to 150. So we have been actively sharing and everything in our Faces Trader Twitter. We said this real time Chevron bottom, SSI bottom, Cebu Pacific bottom, British Petroleum bottom. You can always go to our Faces Trader um, Twitter page for some real time updates. We also shared this in our um, group that there are four. Perfect buckets. Who's this guy? He's Mr. Aswath Damodaran. We shared this YouTube on how to think about investing in a COVID world. First and foremost, we have a very, we can all agree that we are in a recession, but what we don't agree about is what is the speed of recovery? How many months is it? Is it 12 months? Is it three years? Is it four years? Or is it two years? Or is it just six months? And how much structural change in the economy would happen? Would everyone be working from home? How much large impact would change in the world? So there are four buckets to think about. First and foremost, you want to think about buying the best businesses in the world, bargain basement. In the Philippines, that tells you the large market caps such as SM and Ayala Corp. They've got low net debt and they have a business model that is reasonable and at a certain price, pr price you want to have a bargain basement. Distress equity is the, is the, mark, the stocks like uh, the carnage value victims like Pancake House, Maxis Restaurant, Chicky's Pizza, um, SSI. So these companies are not suitable in a stay-at-home environment, but they actually are possible recovery Recovery, distressed equities are your airlines, such as Cebu Pacific, um, because people perceive that there are high operating leverage, there are weaker demand, but if a certain price exists, you can make 50-100% uh, moves in them. Safety at a reasonable price means that you have large market caps, low net debt, they are very stable and their profit margins are still stable pre-virus and after virus. What are these? These are usually your utilities, names like PLDT, Telephone, Globe, Moralco. True for the Philippines, true abroad. These are referring to Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, uh, and so forth. Distress equity refers to airlines such as um, yun nga, Delta Airlines, uh, casinos, energy like ExxonMobil, uh, Chevron, Petron, Shell Philippines. This is where they are. 
change agents. These are what we trade, video conferencing names, online education names, what companies have we discussed. We're talking about Zoom video, DocuSign, Teladoc, um, high growth. We're still talking about video games, structural changes, our online education. So that's what the names refer to. Resilient sectors, okay, so we have been discussing abroad that these are your supermarkets, consumer staples, and essentials. Therefore, it was not a surprise that Pure Gold came out on top from 26 hitting 39, closing high tonight, today, because we do believe that supermarkets around the world are resilient, whether it be Costco, Walmart, Kroger, Ocado, these are all supermarkets in the world. Uh, you've got Nissin Cup Noodles, you've got Procter & Gamble, you have Unilever. With people staying at home, they're buying from Conagra brands some frozen snacks, some Kellogg's, because Kellogg's owns Sprinkles, Kellogg's owns RX bars, uh, cheese, a lot of cheese at crackers, and so forth. Target is also a department store, and all of these are e-commerce friendly, especially in the USA. We're also saying that in a COVID world, video games and stay-at-home names are very strong. Of course, we, we believe so much on Nintendo, Tencent, CD Projekt, Sony, AMD, NVIDIA, Microsoft, Activision, Blizzard, Electronic Arts, Shopee, which owns Garena, which is C-Limited. Didn't enter Take-Two here, but they are also great stay-at-home names. This sector is really a place where we have been seeing definitely safe haven statuses. Uh, I'll show you charts later to convince everybody, but I'll just uh, recap what we've been discussing for the entire week. E-commerce, delivery, couriers, video conferencing, these are resilient names, whether it be Courier ZTO, which has been delivering packages for Alibaba. Of course, Alibaba is doing so well in China. JD, Pintuotua, these are your Chinese e-commerce names. Amazon for USA. Shopify, which has small and medium enterprises in the USA. Mercado Libre, which is the Amazon of uh, Latin America, whether it be Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, essentially all of them. Of course, you're watching this education from me, this class from me through Zoom video live. So it really is a beneficiary in a COVID world. Uh, of course, we do believe in online streaming, connected TV, software as a service, online education, and takeout businesses. For those who don't know, Bilibili is the anime central of China. Netflix is a worldwide entertainment giant. Roku is where you could stream all of 100,000 or 1,000 channels online. Disney is a place where you can watch Disney+. Plus. DocuSign is a place where you can have people just sign your um signatures online and they make money from handling every document that needs to be done online it's a free service but they can handle even collection of all of those contracts whether they be rental contracts divorce contracts whatever money related contract you have huya is your twitch of china it's really strong esports has been strong in fact for the last um, of course, the last two months that we have all been in lockdown worldwide, China has been publishing that Huya has been fundamentally strong. The trade desk handles all the political advertising. So this is a, a digital programmatic leader and the business has still been doing well. Talaria, which helps the likes of ABS-CBN, Sling TV, all the channels to handle their digital advertising online. The leader is still doing well. Uh, for education companies in China, online education, Coolearn, Yotao, GSX, these have been doing so well in a COVID world as everyone has been transitioning online. Um, multi takeout, it's still doing well in China and it has opened, Luckin Coffee. The soon after lockdowns. Of course, the people who are enterprise software know who ServiceNow and Atlassian is. These are helping people in any company worldwide. Okay, so these are questions. Uh, these are the companies. And um, oops, sorry. Wait. Let me see if I have people asking me questions. And then we should go to charts. Chat.
Ah, it's broadcasted live. Okay, so that's my slides for tonight. Uh, I'll take questions for people who would like to ask me. Uh, anyone wants to ask can go to the chat room and we will now go to slides in case you have questions. I'll accept questions for charts. Can you guys see my yeah, desktop? Uh, yeah, uh, we can see your desktop, Nikki. So um, while we wait for questions, um, so tonight, uh, tonight, what are you, you'll share what you're expecting tonight also. No? Your our picks for tonight, the last market day for the week. <laughs> so as you can see, I've been sharing that you make the most money in those uh, under under love, under love names. So I was saying that you make a lot of money in energy names. Exxon Mobil pays a huge dividend. So this was a pick of ours since two days ago. It's still up. You get a 9% dividend yield for owning Exxon Mobil. As you can see, let me show to you charts. Wait up. So buying the underloved sector will produce the best results for your portfolio. ExxonMobil here is a contrarian play. The best payouts come when nobody is betting, and that is why ExxonMobil is rising from 30. Now it's 39. That's a 30% move. We still think that ExxonMobil is going to go 47. If you have any entries for ExxonMobil between 35 to 37, you should still continue to buy ExxonMobil. So we still think that ExxonMobil should go up to 50% from the lows. So from 38, if you can buy 38 below, continue buying ExxonMobil. I also believe in Chevron. So I was saying Chevron has a lot of leeway to go. You can make 100% here. So far, I'm right. Chevron has gone from 55 to 76, and it still is, it, it's, got, it's got leeway to hit 88. These are companies that are institutions that I don't feel will be a bankrupt company. So for the people who can enter Chevron somewhere, so we've been buying somewhere here at 64. Those who followed us in the group would be up 12, so that's 20%. If it still can go down below 70, if you can enter somewhere at 68 to 66, try to enter. Between 70 to 64, try to cost average. So ExxonMobil, Chevron, Petrobras, this is uh, the largest in Brazil. I still think that you could make money in oil and gas names. From four, I think you can go 100% up to eight. So if it's now at six, you're 50% up move. Uh, we said this at about 5 We said to buy at $5 here. If you can get petrol, pet PBR at about $5.50 to $5.20, somewhere here, try to buy these names. Of course, that means that in the Philippines, uh, those who don't know what to buy can go into some energy names. Let's see. I'll show you some Philippine energy names so you look at my slide i've already done the hard work for you uh save the slides because they were done through charting them all um, instead of like going one one to one i did everything already for you what it only means is that if it's near the lows you want to buy if it's near the highs you want to sell so given that energy names have fallen, Shell Philippines has fallen 50% to about 34 to 18. I think it can rebound to about 26. The upside is big somewhere at about 50%. So you want to buy near 18.5, 18.7. So today, this is still a buy. As long as you can buy in this range, you can still make money. Are all the questions that you want to ask to me Philippines or is it global? Can I know so that I can better direct the questions and answer, answer it better? Wait, 
Are there questions? None? No questions? Okay, so someone is asking Philippines. Okay, so Philippines, let's discuss that too. Since we said that all the restaurants abroad have done well, we do think that Shakey's Pizza should do well. Let me explain first um, restaurant sector. So I was sharing in my slides that the restaurants have done very, very well. So I shared it here as well in my, here. Um, so here, just follow this, oil and gas. So if you can buy Shell near 18, 19, you can buy Petron near two, you can make money. So just follow these ranges. Um, okay, so Philippines, it's kind of simple. Um, if it's near the lows, you just buy there. If it's near the highs, you just sell there. So some of them have already reached peaks. So SM has peaked. AC might have only 20% to go. But there are names that you can still buy in the Philippines. We were saying that consumer staples such as URC, you could still buy URC. Let's share that. So why do we believe that URC can make money? Because we do believe in consumer staples. So this is Nissin Foods. This is the cup noodle. Cup noodle is a resilient sector in a COVID world. People stay at home. People don't have money. They eat instant noodles. So as you can see, Nissin Foods has gone from about from about 7.2 to 9.4. That's a 30% move in just a few days. Let me see the questions. Yes, Nissin in Japan is strong. Agree, that's a sector that we like. So given that, uh, what's the closest counterpart for Nissin Foods considering Monde Nissin in the Philippines is not available? Uh, for those who don't know who the owner of Lucky Me is, Lucky Me Pansit Canton is owned by Monde Nissin. However, Payless and a lot of uh, canned goods is owned by URC. So here you have URC. This is a good buy. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So we think that with a, with a capitulation low of 83, any drops um, of URC from 100 to 90 can be bought because you could sell it at 120. That's a 20% move if you buy it at 100. So this is URC. We don't see that people will stop eating cup noodles or drinking great taste coffee. Uh, sorry. So here. So here you could trade the range. For URC, you've got a potential selling here at 111 to 120. A strong support here at 83, although maybe you can't, high, you can't buy there. So try to buy here at 95 to 98. Just cost average and you can make money. The point here is you shouldn't buy at the low. You want to cost average at the lows. So you buy somewhere here. And even if it falls next week, you still buy somewhere here. And then you sell somewhere here. That's all. You buy low, you sell high. That's how you make money in a bear market. Okay. Um, of course, we were saying resilient sectors. Uh, resilient sectors abroad would have been um, online streaming. So you can see that our picks have done very well. This is NVIDIA. But as you can see, we are trading the ranges here. 190 to 257. Even if it has gone to 60, we think that that is enough. Even if it goes to 80 to 290, you buy here, you sell high, buy low, sell high. Um, Puya, the online streaming, we said that you buy low, you sell high. Is the Twitch of China. Notice what has happened. I'll show you. So we have been saying to buy uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, sell somewhere at 17 to 18. So another 10% move tonight, we're going to sell already. Um, Philippines, we can buy restaurants, as I said. So let's look at restaurants like Jollibee, Max's, Pizza, Shakey's Pizza, and SSI. These are carnage names because of the stay-at-home world. Max's has fallen from about 12, 11 to 12, so as much as 4. We see value in this name. We don't see that people will stop eating Krispy Kreme. Uh, and these are companies that can recover and rebound. 
Uh, so this is a tradable range. Even if you can just sell at seven, this presents value. So what you wanna do is to buy low and sell high. So this is a tradable range. People can buy somewhere near four to five. You can buy this 20% range and you can sell somewhere at about seven to eight. That's a big 100% move for people who can buy low and sell high. We think that Maxis is a carnage name that deserves to be bought. So here, buy between four to five, somewhere here. You wanna buy somewhere here and you wanna sell somewhere here. Very clear. That's true for Maxis and it's also true for SSI. Rustan department store, retail is really getting hit. It's a very hard sector given nobody's gonna shop when they're all on, when they're all at home with rentals skyrocketing high and no sales, they're gonna have a hard time. But at these levels, it looks like this is a bargain hunting place. You could trade, even if you just sell at 150, this is 50%. If you get to buy somewhere near 90 cents or one peso. So what you want to do here is try to buy low and sell high. Okay, so this is where it seems to have bottomed out. Any retest near 1 to 110, you want to buy here and then sell there. That is SSI. Let's look at Jollibee. Jollibee looks to have bottomed somewhere here at 90. 90, so some of us have been buying here at 100. Any dips at 100 are good entries. And then what you wanna do is sell this gap near 125 to 145. We think that it's a big range for Jollibee. You could make 20%, you could make 40%. So try to sell somewhere in tranches and you buy in tranches. You can, you can still buy and enter Jollibee. Jollibee, SSI, Max's uh, Pizza, which is the owner of Shakey's Pizza and Peri Peri. So we also think that this has bottomed out here at 450 to 5. You want to buy here and you want to sell somewhere here at 7 pesos. I'm going to share to you. Shakey's Pizza has fallen like a cliff from about 9 to about 450. We think this is an unwarranted drop just because of COVID. You could make some, assuming it goes to seven, you make 50%. If we are correct that people want to bargain hunt, it's 100%, okay? So you can make money in pizza. It's carnage value. Airlines, we said that you can make money abroad, Delta Airlines, United Airlines, and so forth. And we also think that you can make money in Cebu Pacific because everybody still has to fly some way, somehow, somewhere in the future. Okay, so oops, forget that. This is Cebu Pacific. We said that it bottomed at about 35. Even if you bought at 38, we still think that you can actually sell somewhere here at 65. So this is a big range. Even if nobody's traveling now because of all the lockdowns worldwide, we think that OFWs will still have to go somewhere, somehow, from China to the Philippines, us to Japan. We need to travel as a social, social community, okay? So we're saying that in the next five years or three years or two years, people will continue to fly. So they have a tough time. You buy what people don't love. And you can make money because the biggest returns come from where people don't want to bet. From 35 to 46, you can acquire and buy as many cheap Cebu Pacific as you can. And then sell them somewhere here at 57 to 72. You make a big money, about 100% if you wait for a while. Now, how about the um, USA? We've been saying that you could make money in Delta Airlines. This was a pick of ours. We said the buy 27. Uh, so far, it hit 35. Any drops of Delta Airlines will continue to be bought tonight. 
So for those who want to enter Delta Airlines, you want to enter somewhere here. So far, any drops of Delta Airlines, whether it be at 30 or 28, should be supported and bought. Okay? So there's a buying pressure. There's a lot of buying pressure here. We think it can go to 38. So buy Delta Airlines. You cost average as much as you can. You want to buy as low as you can, but you don't want to um, you don't want to just miss out because these are companies that will still deliver good returns for you. Okay, let's let me go to questions first. Chat, is it too late to get into Dal? How about airlines like UAL and Dal today? Well, I don't think it's too late. You can still make money. I think you should see if um, you want to buy strength. The fact that Delta Airlines would not give you 28 means that there's enough people who want to buy 31, even if unemployment losses and all the bankruptcy and talks about lockdowns are happening worldwide. What you just want to do is if you buy 31, you still have ammunition to buy 28 and you still have ammunition to buy 26 should the market give a retest. That's what you want to do. You have to buy and cost average. So this is the low. You want to buy somewhere here, somewhere here. But that doesn't mean that you cannot buy a 31. You can buy here as long as you have cash to buy somewhere here. So you just want to buy here. If it goes up immediately, then you sell. So you have to um, tranche. You, you need to tranche. Uh, United Airlines. <clears throat> this is United Airlines. Um, so for people who wants to know, I already gave this uh, guideline. Let me share to you. So I've made a guideline. So these are index trading ranges, oil and gas. So what you want to do is go to your portfolio. So for instance, let's say tonight, fast food. Uh, some of them are falling, so you could probably take a look. Okay, so, so far, example, QSR has been hitting 45, but I think QSR still has the way to go down. So we're going to have to wait first. So because they've made 85% returns already in just one week, um, these have these have profit-taking moves. So personally, I think that tonight, uh, tonight is March 27, 2020. There are still opportunities in the airline and energy sector. However, you have to be careful. In because we are in the third day of rally for them. So just, uh, just take a look mostly on the pricing and um, the prices will help you to identify if you're near the upper end range or in the lower end range. So ano na yan? Just follow these tables that I've given. Hmm. Follow... Ito, airlines. So just follow this. Follow this. If you are very near the top, medyo wag muna. Try to wait. Actually, sa Philippines mabagal kasi. So yung Cebu Pacific pwede pa yan. Hindi pa kasi nag 50% move. But abroad, mabilis. So potential na you cannot get into airlines if you're still trying to enter today. Unless there's pullback. Okay. Okay, so let me see. Are there more questions? So this is Luck and Coffee. I think that um, it bottomed here at 22. It rallied at 31. You want to buy this tonight if it gives you an entry. So notice that all of them have gap ups. So try to enter here at the gap at 27 if you can. So, kahit na 27 to 28, between this range, you buy. Then, you still buy. You have ammo to buy more here at 24. So, our basic theory is that it has bottomed out. Any retest should be bought because you can sell here at 32 to 34. So, you have to know the chart patterns. 
for Starbucks because it's already at 70 and we think that the resistance is somewhere here at 75, you cannot buy this anymore. Unless Starbucks goes down here to 62 to 64, you can still trade that range. That's, that's really how that you could make money. You have to know the ranges. Any questions? So if there are no questions, I can leave. But if there are more questions, I'll answer your questions. Anyone wants to look at the resilient names? Uh, resilient names. Let me show to you some resilient names. So video games are the most resilient names. Uh, last night, Kuya, Electronic Arts, uh, Activision, Zynga, AMD, they have been doing well. Actually, malakas yung background noise ko because they, I, I, you know, gamers, they're playing. So, yeah, it's been very strong. So, in the Philippines, you can see that the sectors that are very strong are supermarkets, obviously, because groceries should do well. Uh, actually, last night in the U.S., I saw that frozen food pick of ours, which is Conagra, did well. Here, I'm going to show to you. You can make money here. Conagra is equivalent to our URC. So in the Philippines, obviously, you can buy URC. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show to you lang. Conagra is frozen foods. I've shared this very much a long time ago. So you can buy here. Heights at 27, you can still buy there. Ganito si Conagra. So malakas yung earnings niyan, kaya may gap up. Nagkaroon ng COVID, binentahan. Mabilis nag-recover, 22 to 32. Retrace sa 26 to 27. Ayan no, 26 to 28. There's a buying here. There's a buying here. Even if tonight you buy a 28, you can still make money. You can make Chupit, 28 buy, sell 30 to 32. Don't be afraid because any drops here would be okay. This is a consumer staple. Conagra is a consumer staple. Kellogg's, let me show to you the chart. We believe that this one will also be good. So notice that mabilis yung rebound, mabilis binentahan. So it's very wild. The ranges are very wild from 70, bagsak sa 50, angat sa 70. So most likely this is going to trade into a range from 50 to 70. So that's a 40% range. Near 55, 56, kahit naman habulin mo sa 60, that doesn't, it's still okay. Because this is a consumer staple that we see will benefit from a COVID world. Um, Kellogg's is not just, um, ju it's not just the cereal company. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's also. It also owns a lot of brands. Kellogg's owns Gardein, which is burgers. Uh, they they own a lot actually. So, Kellogg's owns Pringles. Kellogg's owns cheese at crackers. Uh, if you want a full in-depth fundamental summary on Kellogg's, I discussed this. Take a look at my Spotify Kellogg's. I discussed it there. My Spotify is Faceless Trader, so you can search on Spotify Faceless Trader in my in podcast, and it's free. Question, Walmart, Kroger, and Costco are all down or barely moved. Is it not the time to day trade or buy? Well, this week, because bad stocks have been good, people have been selling their Walmart, their Zoom video. They've been selling that so that they can trade the bad stocks. It's somehow like selling their PLDT, which is a stable name, so that they can take advantage in very cheap Maxis or very cheap uh, SSI or very cheap Jollibee. So it's really just a shift. But uh, for Walmart, you could actually trade the range. This is very obvious. Near 104, near support, you buy. Then you sell at 127. Kroger, I would rather buy near 25 below. So this is Kroger. It already bounced at 28. But I think that since resistance to 32, this was over the top. Actually, Kroger, we, we were telling people last year pa, to buy a 21, supermarket cheap, cheap stock. So um, that said, I wouldn't buy Kroger high. I don't want to buy high. I, even if supermarket is strong, example, like in the Philippines, Pirgo is already 39. I would sell that because um, this is a trading range. Right? 
So we just buy low and we sell high. Is this strategy a good move for this type of drop only? Does it work as well for small regular drops? Sorry, what does that question mean? Are you talking about index Philippines? Sorry, I don't understand the question. I, I, I don't understand the question of how we did. Is, what, what, what strategy was that? I don't understand your strategy. Um, so in the US, we're saying that e-commerce name should do well. So here, because Smelly hasn't gone up yet, from 700, it fell to about 425. We're seeing that you can buy here from 425 to 497, then sell it at 525. Uh, high growth names that haven't, uh, that have risen, but should, um, but if we fall, so uh, the trade desk has risen from 140 to 212. What I want to do tonight is I want to see how it will correct. So we already know the leaders say. PTD is a leader, work is a leader, diba? I ayano no, recover, boom, 15 to 28. So I want to see how it will go down. Let's stay here or go down here. Nag-sell off yung mga strong companies kasi people, basically what happened was, people sold their good stocks so that they can buy the bad stocks that are very undervalued. So, lumipit lang from index to carnage means. What does that mean? It means that, example, if I'm trading the Philippines, good stocks, nag-rally kagad, pure gold rallied, so I sell 39. SM rallied to 850, sell muna. Okay? Uh, there is a definite range. So, dahil nag-rally na yan, tapon na yan. Ayala lang. Mat na, di ba? Ayun. Mat, benta kagad. SM. Angat kagad. O, benta kagad. So, we have to day trade. We have to swing trade. Now, where does that money go? After index, they go to carnage names. San lumipat? Dito, Cebu Pacific. O, malakas yung, yung lipatan. Uh, Jollibee, lumipat dyan, di ba? Carnage name eh. O, lipat sa carnage. Lipat sa mga disaster, disaster stocks, di ba? Look at what happened to Bloomberry. Of course, umangat ka agad, nag-6 point saan to kanina? Nag-6 pesos. Nag-6.50, tapos na pala yung range. Ang bilis. Okay, so from 4, nag-6.50. Nag-50% na ka agad. So pwede na yan bumaba. Pero notice mo, lumipat yung pera sa mga, mga bugbog. So, sell malakas, lipat bugbog. Okay. Ganun lang din naman, even sa US, even sa Philippines. Makikita mo, Petron, lilipatan din yan. Ayan no, lipat yan. May lipat to, umangat to, na may volume upturn si Picor, umakit to. Oh. Kaya naman lumipat eh, kaya mag 100% ng mga durog na durog. So, yeah, I think that if those people still want to trade, they should focus on airlines, energy names, mga durog. Not just in the Philippines, but also worldwide. Okay. Is there any other question? If not, we can all, uh, we can all close. Then, I'm happy to just uh, be of service to people who wants to trade uh, in to summarize, I want to share that I am available online. You can see me as Spaces Trader. And then uh, we want to share to you all these levels that you can make money from. These are all free. You can go to my article. I shared this article, Philippine edition by the Carnage by Pizza, Shakey's Pizza, Max's Jollibee PLC Bloom. We published it on March 24. Uh, how do you go there? You can go to... Let me share to you. You can go to medium.com. Whether you're asking for the Philippines or you're asking for the USA, all of these can be. Uh, you, can, you can find it all here. You can all find it here. So, yeah, mga published yan. Philippine edition, restaurant edition abroad. So yun, um, there's always money to be made, pero you have to just be aware. So you can read this, you can read this, you can read this. Um, as early as March 16, how to trade and invest in a bear market. We've been saying that we expect volatility to persist. 
um, and then you, there will be sectors that are safer than others, that will be winners in the situation. There will be blue chips that will rebound first because they are low leverage. So we said that you can make money, particularly in the Philippines, Meralco, PLDT Globe, were we correct? Yes. Supermarket, yes, we were correct in Pure Gold. We also said that Jollibee and SM are contrarian picks. So far, Jollibee hasn't risen to 130. So yeah, you can make money there. So Meralco, 210 to 250. PLDT, uh, because internet is live, you can make a 900 to 1,000 move. In fact, PLDT went as high as 1,095. Um, we're also saying Globe is 1,600 to 2,000. It really moved there. We said pure gold, you can buy near 30 below or 28, and then you sell 34. Actually, we were surprised that pure gold hit 39 today. So, malakas siya talaga. That's good to see, no? Na supermarket is very strong. Of course, there are some specific names that you can buy. We see support for Jollibee at 104 and 82, and a strong resistance at 126 and 154. So, that's a big range for you to trade. Jollibee. Also, we were saying before SM collapsed that support was 600, 500, 400. SM really collapsed at 500, but resistance at 800 and 900. So, it was a trading range. Yon. So, finally, we just want to share to everyone that you can make money in a bear market. This is how we make money in a bear market. We buy carnage, we trade the ranges, and uh, so, yon. Do not feel gloomy. We are in a severe recession, but the world will not end. Remember that.